Great, uh, thanks, Alana. Um, so, uh, so, so that, that's a that's a series of fascinating perspectives, and uh, what, what we're going to do is we're uh, going to uh, we're, we're going to uh, talk amongst the panel for a bit just to get this discussion going, and then open it up to the rest of the audience. And uh, so, one one thing that's been one thing that's been in the news a lot for uh, obvious reasons is uh, hurricanes and clean up after hurricanes. And one fascinating question is, uh, you know, will will there be a probiotic developed that you could spray on your house after the hurricane? has been through to uh, to uh, you know drive out uh, drive out rot or fungi or so on or alternatively is there some antimicrobial treatment that should be applied at that kind of population scale after an extreme weather event so um, so, so, so Jeff what, what do you think is this a, is, is this a ripe topic for indoor microbiology from an engineering perspective or is, uh, is, is there some other way that you'd want to think about that question Okay, so uh, I have to preface my answer to this question by saying, you know, I wet drywall for fun. Uh, you know, this is a part of my, my, my research. And so I think that the scientific questions involved are really, really interesting. However, um, I also think that the kind of flooding we've seen both in the U.S. and in the Caribbean and beyond uh, has been, it's, uh, it's not a microbial problem. It's a, it's a massive kind of failing of a lot of systems, but it's a water problem. And I think that uh, the right approach is, um, before we even get to the science, which again, I think is very interesting, is to address some of these very big issues of, you know, where are we building uh, our homes? Um, uh, how are we building our homes? Uh, and the whole issue of disaster response, um, to me, are much more pressing issues than what might be going on microbiologically. Also, um, the other piece I would say is that there is a very well-developed industry of uh, restoration after flooding, and some of it is kind of questionable in both its efficacy and its risks, uh, but uh, uh, there is a lot of expertise that I think isn't necessarily represented here on this panel or even in this room of the kind of practical issues that are involved. So my perspective is let's address those practical issues and once we, we get to that place then we can start talking about the science issues.